Today, I'd like to introduce you to something that I think you'll find fascinating. A great deal of years ago, perhaps around 300 BC, Plato talked about the divine idea of everything. Everything has a divine idea. My chairs have a divine idea. You can see Ganesh, the wonderful uh, god who removes obstacles as a divine idea. Each one of you has a divine idea. He called it the Eidos, the Eidos. Now, one of the ways of getting to the divine idea is through something else that he referred to, actually it was his student Aristotle, called the Entelechy. The Entelechy is the beloved friend of your life. The Entelechy is a kind of God self who looks upon you with so much love, so much empowerment, that you begin to feel yourself moving into your idos, the divine version of yourself. So let's begin that exercise. I'd like you to begin by rubbing your hands. Get them, get some heat going. Very good. Now put your hands out so. And you can close your eyes or not as you like. But I want you to imagine and feel that it is so that coming toward you is your entelechy, your high self, the one who holds the pattern, the genius, the possibilities for you in every aspect of your life. And you can feel this entelechy because this entelechy loves you so much. And you feel yourself so deeply loved, empowered, enchanted, called forth all of those hidden potentials that you have beginning to come forth, fill you with their magnificence. And you feel yourself becoming one who knows that your life is blessed. Your life is blessed. You feel yourself affirmed, loved, loved beyond all loving, deeply known. And yes, the IntelliKey knows some of the unfortunate aspects of your life, but through and beyond all that, it is all brought together as the Eidos. The divine version of yourself is being evoked, called forth. Feel it, feel the loving, feel, feel this energy of a kind of transcendent power moving through you. Dream something, and you can feel it working in yourself and working in the universe, working in the mind of all being and starting to come together. Feel love for someone and know that you are connected in this loving for this person and this person you can feel that loving coming to you. Imagine something that you really, really want to do, whatever it is, and feel yourself empowered by the entelechy called forth by the divine self that is in you, moving toward that happening, that creation, that magnificent magic of new becoming, new possibility. And so, sensing this great friend of your life, the entelechy, feeling their rising in you, your optimal pattern, your divine blueprint, the idos, and together, that divine imprint, blueprint, optimal pattern, being called forth by the entelechy who loves you so much. And as this grows in you, you find yourself moving toward the life that maybe you imagined but never had, the life that is fascinated by you and is longing for you. The life is the true you. And yes, we live in interesting times, but be not afraid. Be not afraid, for you were made for these times. You have enough power, creativity, energy, loving. You are the one that we've all been waiting for. You are, for you are part of the divine self, you were called forth 
by the beloved friend, the Ateliki. And if you would do this exercise every day, you'll begin to see a change in mood, feeling, sense of possibility, adventure, creativity, and above all, being the great friend to others, the one who calls forth their entelechy, the one who calls forth and sees the divine self that is there within each person that you encounter, the entelechy. Thank you.